In this video, we're talking about dual coding theory. In the world of learning, dual coding is like following a recipe through both engaging visuals and clear, concise instructions. It's about feeding your brain with information in two ways, what you see and what you hear. This dual approach, combining visuals with verbal explanations, is our recipe for success. It makes learning stick, just like how the right combination of ingredients make a dish unforgettable. So let's dive in and discover how dual coding can transform your learning experience, making it as easy and enjoyable as cooking your favorite meal. At the heart of dual coding theory are two cognitive subsystems. First, we have the verbal system, dealing with language-based information or logogens. Then there's the nonverbal system, handling image-based info, known as imagens. These systems don't work in isolation. They're interconnected, allowing for a richer, more embodied understanding of knowledge. It's like having two different languages to describe the world around us, each enriching the other. Dual coding theory focuses on the cognitive processes involved in encoding and retrieving information using both verbal and visual systems. It's different from the simplistic learning styles theory that proposes individuals have a preferred mode of learning, such as visual, auditory, read, write, or kinesthetic. This kind of VARC learning styles theory is incorrect. But dual coding theory does have some limitations, with concerns that complex information can potentially lead to cognitive overload. Without careful design and learning, combining verbal and visual information can lead to cognitive overload where the learner becomes overwhelmed by too much information, potentially hindering learning instead of enhancing it. So how do we apply this theory in real-world teaching and learning? The key is in leveraging both verbal and visual strategies. By integrating text with imagery, diagrams, and visual aids, educators can cater to diverse learning needs, making information more accessible and memorable. It's not just about seeing or hearing, it's about creating a multi-sensory learning experience that resonates with everyone. So let's dive into some practical applications, starting with early education. We can learn from our amazing early childhood educators who teach the alphabets. They teach letters and sounds not just by saying them out loud, but by using vivid imagery and visual representations. This approach not only makes learning more engaging for young minds, but also cements their understanding and recall of language basics. In math education, combining verbal explanations with visual aids like graphs or manipulatives can turn abstract numbers into tangible concepts. It's about making math not just something you do, but something you see and feel. In our digital age, multimedia learning takes this to the next level. Meyer's work on multimedia learning principles shows us that combining words, pictures, and videos can make learning more effective than words alone. It's not just about seeing or hearing, it's about experiencing the learning. Dual coding theory can be helpful for English and humanity classes. By emphasizing the power of storytelling, one can create story maps or graphic organizers for reading comprehension. This can help students visualize the narrative and also connect the dots between the text and their imagination. Remember, it's not just about using visuals or verbal cues alone, but creating a bridge between them. Encourage drawing, multimedia resources, and visual aids in lessons to make learning stick. Thanks for joining me on this journey through dual coding in education. For more research on making learning effective, check out the other videos on this channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.